Good day, traders. The four-step method to high-performance trading is a free course download for increasing your confidence and your ability to execute your trading edge in live time. The link for the download is in the description box below. And the free audio program, the seven-step daily routine for high-performance traders is also a free download to develop your discipline, your confidence, and a winning mindset to master the markets. Again, the download for these links is in the description box. They're both free downloads. Let's get started. Today, traders, we're going to be talking about Friday's parabolic trade opportunities, Free Cash Friday. And just to repeat, I'll reinforce this for traders who maybe have just stumbled onto this page, that everything you need to know is in this playlist as it is titled uh, in terms of templates, timings, levels, behavior of price, regardless if you're trading Asia, London, or the New York session. Understanding the opportunities that can present on a day three, Wednesday and Friday. I'm going to really just keep hammering home those two days, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, day one, day two, day three, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, day one, day two, day three, and the opportunities that can present uh, and offer traders the ability to scale a small trading account up fast in size if they develop the skill set and the patience and discipline to sit on their hands and wait for the 90-10 best trading setup opportunities. Now we go over this in the playbook, uh, pump and dumps, dump and pumps, why most traders lose, focusing on yesterday's high and low and closing price levels, three day setups, three session setups, especially on a day three. And then being able to identify the trigger days, which we talked about yesterday in more detail, sitting on your hands and waiting, front side, back side, some pairs may only offer you one great trade a week or even every couple weeks, but I'm looking for the best setup on any instrument. I don't care about what instrument it is. I'm looking for the setup. Now, certain instruments are going to offer uh, more volatility and maybe more regular opportunities than certain currencies, etc. Uh, but that comes down to the trader's ability to stick to the process, have a simple process. I can go through 15 currency pairs, oil, gold indexes in, in half an hour and just skim through because I'm doing that on a daily basis. I know where I'm at Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and also understanding if there's major red news on the calendar, as I've told traders, until you develop the consistency and the skills just to avoid the news and stick to the larger time frame templates. And I'm always hunting out the parabolic trades because that's where the scalable rinse and repeat opportunities are for scaling a small account up very aggressively in size. I'm going to repeat uh, some simple concepts that I focus on today. We're going to be talking about Friday's templates for day three opportunities and repeating that Monday is day one, Tuesday is day two, Wednesday is day three, Wednesday resets and becomes a new day one into the closing range of the week. Wednesday's day one, Thursday's day two, and Friday is day three. Monday is the opening range, Wednesday is the midweek range, and Friday is the closing range, and Wednesday is the reset from a day three to a day one. Now I'm looking for one of two types of trades on a day three, either a trend trade, which continues in the direction of the existing move, from day one, day two, or a reversal trade where we'll get day one, day two, up high or down low, and a day three reversal parabolic opportunity that rifles into traders that have been chasing the trend. Two types of templates that will present on a well-engineered chart will either be a pump and dump template or a dump and pump template. Now we've gone over this in detail in several videos. As I said, they're all in the playlist. But if you're stepping back and you're patient, the next most important thing is timings. Now, 90% of my trades are in the New York session. New York equity markets open at 9.30 a.m. And as I mentioned, if you're not experienced or you don't have the results consistently to avoid any major red news on the calendar that is scheduled, and if we have news after 9.30 a.m., be aware that you I, I will always be out of the market when that news is released, or uh, that may be, if there is no setup, that may be the start of the session. So, for example, we had news at 10 a.m. this morning. 
Uh, there was an opportunity prior to that. I exited the trade, but re-entered it after the news. And an excellent question from a trader is, how long do you wait? Well, if you go back and study uh, the first bar, the first minute will often give traders a lot of information. There are four types of uh, news release candles in the first minute of a major red news release. And go back, we can do another video on those again. But there are four types of news candles, but it ties in with the larger time frame template if I'm going to re-enter the market. This is not just me chasing a one minute chart, it ties in with the longer time frame template. There are only three levels that I trade from. The high of the day, the low of the day, and the closing price levels. That is where I look to execute as best fill possible at those levels based on the behavior of price at the timing window, based on the larger time frame setup, the three day setup. Behavior of price, so engulfments and pin hammers. We can have that on a 15 minute chart. We can have that on a five minute chart. We can have triple tops, triple bottoms on a one minute chart. And as I mentioned yesterday, I will only go to the one minute chart when I'm at the extreme, so at the higher low of the day. Double tops, double bottoms. We can get V tops or A tops, one hour charts. Uh, those will demonstrate smaller time frame patterns, such as triple tops, triple bottoms. But engulfments, pin hammers, five minute charts, we use the universal EMA, and I put that in the playbook to remove the analysis paralysis and have a level playing field for traders to make an ideal uh, entry on, still managing our risk, a one bar stop, and targeting asymmetrical risk reward for range expansion opportunities on day threes. So again, go back and watch the previous videos. I go over range expansions in detail. Typically that will be a high low range expansion or where the consolidation occurs. We'll look at some different examples of that from today's templates. I'll refer to a lot of these as statements because people say things to me and I'm not sure what it means when they say it. It's so it's a statement. Um, but it was a first red day, Stacy, or a first green day, Stacy. I talked about this the other day. Uh, but the count restarts on an inside day and all these things where I don't know where they've got that from. They're marking off consolidations inside of the high and the low of the day. All kinds of things. And I don't talk about that. I talk about the high of the day, the low of the day, and the closing price level, and I talk about day one, day two, day three. We have three day setups and we have day threes, three days of breakout traders in the market. And as I have tried to simplify this, I told traders until they get consistent to focus on Wednesday and Friday, free cash Wednesday, free cash Friday, hunt out the best instruments to identify a parabolic trend trade opportunity or a parabolic reversal trade opportunity, pump and dump dump and pump templates that can occur over the course of the week and of it within the day itself, a well-engineered chart. And one of the things I repeatedly state, are they working the high or are they working the low? And traders ask, well, how do I know if it's a trend trade or a reversal trade, Stacy? Now that comes back to what we're talking about today. You should be able to identify whether or not a market is parabolically building or consolidating for an explosive move in the direction of the trend, or if we are working the high or working the low for a parabolic reversal trade. How do we know that? We just talked about it. Timings, the time of the day, the levels, and the behavior of price. Is the market coiling underneath of a high for an explosive move in the direction of day one, day two breakouts? Or is it coiling at the high on day three inside of a peak formation for a parabolic reversal. Same thing goes for a parabolic reversal at the low of the day inside of a peak formation or into the low of a day and closing price level. One push, two push, three push at the extreme. Timings, what time is it? Is it 9.30 New York open? Is it opening at the low of the day? Are they working the low or are they working the high? So if we look at the Japanese gem, we have Wednesday, Thursday, heading into free cash Friday. So I repeat this, um, it is simple as possible. Wednesday's day one. I'm not gonna answer anything about anything else that people have mixed and mashed and taken from other things. Wednesday's day one, Thursday's day two. That means Wednesday is free cash Friday and day three. 
what type of template do we have? We have on, on day one, we have shorts in the market, a break of Tuesday's low. And on day two, we have longs in the market. We have a peak formation low. We have a peak formation high. And that is our day zero setup from the playbook on page 84. Day zero, a three-day setup for a parabolic trend trade opportunity. Peak formation high, peak formation low, consolidation. We have our consolidation. We're heading into day three. We're underneath of closing price, which repeating that if we are up high and we're underneath closing price on day three, are they working the high or are they working the low? Now, clearly we have a peak formation high. We've made a lower peak formation high in the close of our U.S. window. We've dropped down below the peak formation low made in the U.S. session. So we've broken out. This is in play. Now these levels are significant inside Fugazi unless I take the trade at the timing window off of a level. Day two in the direction of our initial breakout. Day one, day two parabolic from inside in the direction of our day one breakout. Now they pump it back up into the peak formation high into closing price level. Dump it down and they pump it up. We'll zoom in here one more time. One push, two pushes, and a third push into our New York open window. Now we had different major red news releases today. We have our engulfment at the high on the New York equity market opens. Uh, and so the general thesis is this. I want to just back this up and look at the template. We've got a parabolic reversal opportunity. Now, as I stated to one trader, if I'm in the market, I'll lock in the money and get out right before the news release. If the market confirms the existing thesis on a one minute chart, I will get back into that market. Now, we talked about the four types of one minute releases. There is a, a first bounce trade on a larger time frame type of opportunity that, that the market will coil. Now, there is a first bar opportunity, which is where we have trap volume up higher down low, and that first bar will close at, at an extreme trapping volume and it won't come back. Then we have wicks on both sides, which is a, an avoid. I avoid those markets and wait for the new hour to start. And then we have no reaction, which means I continue with my original thesis. No reaction can be a move in the direction of that original trade that we were currently in. There were several traders that hit this trade today, three pushes into the peak formation high at the New York Open for the parabolic collapse. Now, when this took out the low of the day, we had the Fed Chairman Powell speaking at 11 a.m. Uh, sorry, there was 10 a.m. news release and then 11 a.m. Fed Chairman Powell. And so traders can get out of the market and re-enter targeting a potential range expansion on this day back to the low of the week. So if we have our large consolidation high low for the day, we've broken out, they've pulled back on the news release and traders can re-enter this on a smaller time frame in line with the original trend. We have a five minute chart after the pin on the news on Fed Chairman Powell and that market resumes its original downward move, does a full range expansion and this is the type of day as I've mentioned to traders, uh, we can head into a weekend sometimes and this is the first day of a new trading month they may not come back, which at this stage, it doesn't look like they're going to. And this can be an all-in opportunity for traders on a day three, first day of a month, parabolic free cash reversal on the Japanese yen. Now, gold gave an absolutely incredible opportunity for traders today. Understanding classical charting, uh, I always talk about Peter Brandt, Schaubacher, Edwards, and McGee. Uh, there is nothing new under the sun. There is no special theory that was developed in the last 10 years or anything else. These large consolidations form over days, which is why I see traders and they're marking off all these little zigzags and gap time highs and lows and asking me questions. And I'm saying, no, the high and the low. That's where I work from. That's where I work from. And uh, the simpler you make things, the simpler you make things, the more you can reproduce results. I'm not interested in all these other little things to catch 20 pips and all that. I'm looking for where is the sizable, repeatable opportunity for scaling in with size where there's going to be longer time frames driving that move. And as we see on gold, it's not coming back. So we have day one, Wednesday, 
forming a high low. You'll notice we're not at the levels. We're around the levels on Wednesday. They've traded higher before breaking down below closing price and putting a peak formation low in, and then going into consolidation into Thursday, day two. Trapping traders on the New York Open down into the low of Wednesday and jamming them in before pumping up in the Asian window, starting our little drive with higher highs on uh, Friday. Higher highs in the London session. So that higher high, so peak formation high, Peak formation low on our day two. That forms our, uh, again, our day zero template. We have a large rectangle. That's our day zero template, a large rectangle. Peak formation high, peak formation low, consolidation heading into our day three. Uh, we saw a reversal trade on the Japanese yen. And then we get the higher high. That higher high on the inside is the template for, you guessed it, as you hear me repeat this, the dump and pump template on the day, a well-engineered chart. So for traders who are asking, what does a well-engineered chart look like? These are well-engineered charts. They're very specific, three levels of rise before dumping down in the London session. So instead of pumping up back to the high for a pump and dump template, they dump it down from the high of the day after triggering breakouts inside of the high of the week, high of the month, and remember we're on a new month. Now this is the high of the month, December 1st, and they start jamming them down into the low of the month and right at 9.30, pin hammer engulfment of the entire lower first hour. Pin hammer engulfment. We'll put our universal EMA on there just to show traders that if you step back and are patient and wait, even on the longer time frame, this is a 15-minute chart. This now is offering traders a parabolic range expansion opportunity as a potential profit target. We had one full range expansion. Uh, this market moved, oh, well, 300 pips today, 300 pips, and gave traders an absolute cash cow. Uh, they could have held on to trailers. They could have held on for the max amount. I took a, 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 the bulk of the positions off near the high and left some trailers. Uh, but this is just a rectangle coming out of a market that has already broken out parabolic on Tuesday, day two. So we reset. Wednesday's our day one. Peak formation high. Peak formation low. Consolidation. The whole two days is a consolidation. They break the high. Trigger breakouts. Dumping it down. First trading day of the month. Jamming them into closing price. Short squeeze setup on the day. We've had a few of the short squeeze setups this week. Uh, explosive moves coming out of these short squeezes. This is just a simple three-day template. Day one, day two, day three. Major red news out, back in, opportunity to reposition after the news in the direction of the breakout, targeting a full range expansion on Free Cash Friday on gold. Goldzilla. Goldzilla did not disappoint. And several traders, uh, as one mentioned to me today, was in shock. It just uh, kept going and couldn't believe that it was that simple. Sitting on your hands, being patient, waiting for the template to set up day one, day two, day three. These aren't normal trades. So I'll keep repeating this. You can scalp in and out and catch these moves and catch the bottom and sell the top and all these things. I'm looking for where I can scale in and this is going to keep going and drive and be just, you know, hammering anybody who tries to counter trend this. And you've heard me say DNC, do not counter trend because they're not coming back. Asking yourself the question again, heading into the New York Open, are they working the high or are they working the low? There's our peak formation low. One push, two push, three pushes, explosive engulfment, New York Open for the parabolic move back through the high of the day and a full range expansion on day three. Now here's a great example on the Euro Aussie. Uh, we'll just uh, stop here for today. We'll go over a lot of these charts over the weekend, just simplifying the template, day one, day two, day three. We had a first red day on day two on the uh, Thursday, closing below the opening price. And we have breakout traders in the market. Uh, we triggered them on Wednesday, day one. We went and closed out of balance on day two. We've talked about that before. Out of balance markets can tend to, tend to stay out of balance. And we'll just highlight this. That market pumps up first. Pump and dump. As opposed to the gold template, which dumped and pumped. The Euro Aussie 
pumped up first before breaking down lower before heading into our U.S. session window. We can put our universal EMA on this chart as well, and we're already well underneath on our 15-minute chart heading into our New York Open. First hour, we had major red news at 8.30, and then the market proceeded to, uh, that was on the Canadian dollar, and then we proceeded to break down into the New York Open for the parabolic collapse. Now, on day three, when we have a market already broken out and it's looking like it's going to do a range expansion, I will put a high-low range expansion potential target as my uh, estimated area for watching how price behaves once we're in the trade and then looking for where to take profits. And sometimes if we see any pullback or retest, I'll look to exit at that extreme. If the market hasn't already gotten to that level, this is an example of a parabolic trend trade on day three, Euro Aussie. Now there were other instruments that offered these opportunities. What's important is that traders step back and realize that you can take day two trades in line with the trend. What's important to understand is that we have a day three parabolic opportunity for a potential range expansion and these markets may not come back first day of a trading month, etc. They're scalable. I will size into them and I'll take money out as, as it's en route, but often I will leave that trade or trailers to go the full fruition of that distance day one day two, day three. Now I receive a lot of questions. I thought Tuesday was day one. I keep repeating this. I'll do it every single day, every single day that I do a video. Simplicity, simplicity, simplicity. If you can keep it simple, you can reproduce it. I'm hunting out day three trade parabolic opportunities, Wednesday and Friday. There are other trades that come out of three day setups and three days of breakout traders in the markets that can give us trades on Tuesdays and Thursdays and Mondays. But when I get a day three parabolic on free cash Wednesday and free cash Friday, these are the ones that compound my account super fast. Keep it simple. And as one trader said, whether you like me, whether you hate me, whether you agree or disagree, I'm getting paid either way. <laughs> so keep it simple. It's been a huge week. Congratulations to several traders because I know that uh, many people have grown their account in the last two weeks significantly. Keep it going. The next most important thing is to manage yourself. Uh, learn to sit on your hands. Learn to step back and wait for these opportunities. Not get caught chasing things on the inside, caught in garbage moves, false moves, furu moves, all these little BS things that are out there. Simple. Simple, simple, simple. Free cash Wednesday. Free cash Friday. Keep it simple. Have a great weekend. Enjoy yourselves 1% better every single day. And may the markets go with you.